this a new one? Oh, we're so far. Is that a silhouette of Garo in the on the left? Yeah. They never did fix the AC. It's time. Don't worry, Mr. Edgeworth. I'll be something something. Good to Good hear. Be. Now make sure you don't lose sight of me. I'm counting on you for backup. What? You count on me, sir, even though I have no idea what I'm... I have to go. The kidnapper is supposed to contact me soon. Who would have thought that upon my return, I'd be thrust into a kidnapping case? And that I would be the one who would have to make their ransom drop off. <laughs> Let's see. I checked that the money is all there, safe inside this suitcase. Oh, look at what suitcase it is! Now all I have to do is await further instructions from the kidnapper. Oh, this is a reference to when Maya got kidnapped. Which I'm expecting to be transferred to my cell phone. I wonder who else is around. This is the meeting place, after all. And then a bomb goes off. There you go. Um, you can be this nigga, I guess. Uh, tables. Welcome to Gatewater Land. Hmm? Oh, thank you. And a big hello to you. I'm the Proto Badger. Nice to meet you. Proto Badger. I didn't want to be a Teletubby so bad. Excuse me, but were you perhaps thinking of taking a picture of me? A picture? Of you? You perv. Sorry, but I'm not interested. Oh, that's too bad. Well, have a good day! Fucking piece of shit, bitch. You pl I'm sorry. Hello? Hello, hello! Wait, fuck. You're supposed to be- wait. Ephragor, um... Uh-oh, W spoilers. You said turn around. <laughs> what? Nothing. Um... Fuck it, you just be this nigga, uh... Darian. Wait a minute! Who are you?! You're not the Ernest Amano! It sounds like the kidnapper is using some sort of voice alteration device. I'm his representative, Miles Edgeworth. Are you a cop? No, I'm... a prosecutor. I know what you're wondering, and yes, I have brought the ransom money with me. I see. In that case, bring the money with you to the stadium! So this person intends to see if I'm being followed, huh? Please, Detective Gumshoe. I really need you to come through for me this one time. He actually pulled the gun. Fumbles because there's no bullets in it. Shoot. Edgela speaking. Next, come to the haunted house. And just how long do you intend to have me wander around for? That's for me to know and for you to find out. You don't have much of a choice here, my friend. I suppose not. You'd just be chilling, uh, you know, walking around. Yeah, I would've put a firecracker in that guitar to make it happen again. <laughs> <laughs> I've arrived. Go inside! A great game, Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> what Let's a dismal place. place. <clears throat> That's it. Go through those doors. Am I being watched from somewhere? Yes. Blue Badger. Leave the money and go. Now. 
Damn, him sitting at a table. Well, not <clears throat> oh, shit. I was hoping for an exchange, but maybe I should do as they say for now and not push it. I couldn't catch even a glimpse of the kidnapper. Perhaps I should keep an eye on this haunted house until police backup arrives. We're just gonna stay in here until the cops are. Oh shit, Freddy Fazbear behind him! Images that could be album covers. Bruh. He's coming. Damn, why didn't ah, I look behind it him? It was a trap. I'm no trap. Well, it's worth died. We're gonna have to channel him for the rest of the game. Let's go, finally. I would Phoenix love to see him. About time to fake out here. I'm sorry. The guy betrayed. No, it can't be. Then the deal. Who is that? And what are they talking about? Split. Police. Gang, gang. I. In front of. Meet up. I can't move my body. I. I feel I might faint again. Prank him, John. <laughs> Where am I? How long was, was nice I out? Prank, it wasn't writing like it is now when I made the drop off. You were out for three days. This was supposed to be a simple affair. So why have I been taken hostage as well? I can only assume Detective Gumshoe lost sight of me at some point. The only reason I agreed to be the drop-off man was because of that phone call. It was from Mr. Ernest Amano, the director of the powerful Zaibatsu, the Amano Group. But aside from that, I also owe him a great debt of gratitude. His only son Lance had been kidnapped. I know that Lance is already in his twenties, but I guess some things you never grow out of. Sit around waiting for someone to come help me. I must escape somehow. He definitely not moving. Who's there? And how dare you laugh at a gentleman's plight? Who the fuck is this nigga, bro? Who are you? Are you the one? That, are you one of the kidnappers? I see you, Steven. A kidnapper? Me? No way. I'm not into such petty crimes. Cap. Nope. I'm after something much, much bigger. Cap. Ah, I must be worn out from today's ordeal. Focus, Miles. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. Sorry about that. Even in the depths of night, when no other bird dares to take flight, one alone soars to shine the light of righteousness on the world's blight. And that one is me, for I am the great thief Yatagarasu. Great thief? And did she really just claim to be the La Yatagarasu? Oh, my real name is Kay Faraday. You can call me Kay. Eh? Good. Glad that's settled. Not quite. I have a mountain of questions for you. He was scanning the environment. <laughs> but first, if you would be so kind as to remove these ropes. Hmm. I wonder, should I remove them? I was actually having a lot of fun make watching make all those silly faces. Hey, there's no need to get all mad and icy glare at me, you know. This rope goes here, and there you go. I use this opportunity to strangle her. <laughs> What's a relief? I owe you my thanks. <laughs> it's okay. You can pay me back in full later. Now, oh, then, pause. What question should I start with? 
Unfortunately, I can already tell nothing is going to be easy with this cheeky girl. You call yourself, huh? I was just saying, man said, I already know she's about to give me problems. <laughs> you call yourself a great thief, yet are you really a thief at all? You doubt me? I get yeah. it. You think that a young lady like me couldn't possibly be a big time thief, right? That's not the part I have a tough time believing. I'm the real, genuine Yatagarasu, you know? Yep, I'm a pure-blooded great thief, but it's a little something I inherited from my predecessor. In that case, you wouldn't mind if I arrested you then, right? What? Of course I'd mind. I haven't stolen anything yet. Seriously, I don't know how you can say it's such a horrible thing to your savior. That's true. Technically, she hasn't stolen anything in front of me yet. When you say you're the Yatsugarasu, do you mean you are THE Yatsugarasu? Yep. The most righteous of the righteous. The legendary Great Thief. But the title was only recently seceded to me. So I haven't had a chance to steal anything yet as the second Yatsugarasu. I was not aware that thieves could pass down their titles like that. You ever played Sly Cooper Edgeworth? Come on. <laughs> no. But don't worry, I've got some big plans in the works. Shout out to Tennessee Cooper. Mm -hmm. Big plans, huh? They wouldn't happen to lead to a big arrest, would they? I knew it! There's just no reasoning with the prosecutor. I'm not the problem here! I'll have you know that the Yatagarasu has no interest in stealing petty trinkets. There's one thing, and one thing only I want to steal. Only one thing? And what would that be? But that's going to have to wait until we find our way out of here. Well, at least there is one thing we agree on. I'm sure I'll have plenty of time later to learn more about you. So, you never told me what your name was, Mr. Prosecutor. Ah, uh, I guess not. I'm Miles Edgeworth. Now I remember. How can you remember something I just told you? But she sure is cherry. Alright then, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's get out of here. Hmm? It would seem that we are locked in from the other side. What? No way! I didn't... I don't hear you. La 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 la. Kay, do you remember where you came in from, right? It looks like that might be our only way out of this room. Whoops. Slight miscalculation. That's a good height to make an entrance from, but I can jump that high to make an exit. <sighs> I suppose we have no choice but to look around and see if we can't find another way out. Right. Y'all like wanna... escape room games? If you don't Last of Us this, just give her a boost and then let her Last arm strength do the. Right. right? Teamwork makes the dream work. What is this? <laughs> it looks like the Bad Badger, and he's looking as bad as ever. Bad Dragon. Looks like... Bad Bitch, and I do what I want like. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> looks like a. Costume head for me. I guess the Bad Badger's costume is, at the very least, two piece, huh? The real question is why is only the head sitting out here on the floor? Uh... Hmm? Isn't this my phone? It looks <laughs> like it made a thorough. It looks like it made a made it through the ordeal intact. If only there was a way for us to contact someone from the outside. Ah, but we do have a way, right here. And then it's been wiped. It's still working, that's how you know it's not Apple. Ah, 
There was a cell phone here the whole time? There's the Nokia brick. There's no cracks. That's how you know for sure. <laughs> if I'm right, the detective Gumshoe should have contacted the precinct for backup by now. Uh, Mr. Edwards, sir, are you okay? I was so worried, sir. I'm fine. I was knocked unconscious for a spell by the kidnapper. That's all. I'm sorry, sir. I'm such a failure. If only I hadn't lost sight of you. Detective, we don't have time for this. Have the police set up a perimeter right now. You don't have to worry about that, sir. I already got the boys working on that. But in doing that, I sort of... What's wrong, detective? Uh... Tables. Sorry to butt in, but I'm afraid you're gonna have to make do with me. Who was this? Shalong Lang <laughs> of Interpol. You are the greatest. A pleasure to speak with you, Mr. Edgeworth. I've heard a great deal about your ass. So why exactly is an Interpol agent like yourself involved in a domestic kidnapping case? Don't sweat the deets. A crime's a crime, whether it's on a local or a global scale. Besides, you're the one who's in a world of trouble. And why would you say that? Lang Z says, the pack that runs together stays together. This castle, what? You catch my drift? You cause quite a ruckus by running blindly into a situation and getting caught. <laughs> You should have contact. You should have contacted. You should have contacted the police from the very beginning. I'm sorry that this happened because of a lapse in judgment. However, I humbly request that you please help me out of here post haste. Said you do it, nigga. No, I'm not. Not me. We're hunting the kidnapper now, and I haven't got any hands to spare. As I said, my pack moves as one. You're the one who wanted to go in it, go it alone. So good luck to you, Mr. Prosecutor. Oh, and once we do catch the kidnapper, rest assured, we'll come find you eventually. Maybe. You. You. You, you used me. Do, 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 do. Did you get cut off? No, my phone ran out of power. Well. No way. It doesn't matter anyways. We should try to get out of here, though, through our own means. Yeah, I've got a name to live up to, after all. If we put our heads together, we're sure to find a way out. Yeah, man. Continue is trying to open the door that's locked. <laughs> They're holding a blue badger rally. A photo rally. Blue badger rally? If you didn't know? Plus, it's not just the Blue Badger, it's his whole family, too. They multiplied... They had sex? If you manage to snap a shot of every family member in the shop... In the shop? You get a really posh prize. Very well. There's a costume head sitting over there. Why not start off with a picture of that? You can't do that. That's cheating. There's only one of each badger in the park, so you have to work for it. Speaking of badgers, there was one sitting against the wall in the haunted house. Seriously? Somehow I doubt that one counts, Mr. Edgeworth. You have to take a picture of the costume ones walking around in the park. Hmm, so those are the rules of this game. How quaint. Wanna go play? No. No play. This is the beam I was tied to. Hmm? What's up? I was pondering if perhaps we could make it over to and out of the window if we climbed this. Good thinking! And if it's climbing action you need, just leave it to me. 
Thanks. This little hook looks like it'd, be, it'd make for a good foothold. Up you go, Kay, and good luck. Count on it! The great thief Yatagarasu spreads her mighty wings and takes to the skies! Here I go! Is she full? Well. As I thought, this beam was definitely not made for climbing. What do you mean, as I thought? I'm not your guinea pig, you know? Yeah, well, my usual guinea pig's not here. <laughs> Thanks. Do you know where the person who kidnapped me went? Well, after they locked you up here... It sounded like they went into the next room and started talking to someone. I feel like I heard something as well, but it's all a haze in my mind. However, I do recall that the kidnapper was talking with someone. It was just a guess before, but I guess I really <laughs> am dealing with two kidnappers here. After that, they left. It almost seemed like they were done with you. I suppose that is the case. My kidnapping seems like an afterthought to the one million dollars. Well, if they went to the next room, let's see what we can find out through the slot. Stupid. No, no. Slot on the door. I'm just gonna have the pots on the floor. Ooh! We can peer into the room the kidnappers were in from there! I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. So, this is not where we're supposed to do right yet. <laughs> what? God damn it, I, <laughs> I keep forgetting to watch these shits beforehand. Uh, it's okay, I'm not prepared either. <laughs> nice. Great. First, who's new to the game? What do they mean by here. this? Honestly, uh, I'm staring at um, that pink thing in the box. Like the and I'm just like, so damn, it says examine the hatch. What are they talking about? <laughs> hey, there's something inside the bottom right box. Oh. I think it's a pink badger costume. Pink badger. You don't keep up what's going on with what's going on in the world, do you? In that case, you'd better study up on the whole badger clan with this. We gotta study up on the clan. What is this thing? Badger. Think of it as a bible for all things you ever need to know about the clan. Bruh. Whatever. I Bad suppose bad. I can keep it as a reference guide or something. Alright, so we have the Grand Wizard. The... <laughs> I suppose this means that this is where they keep all the costumes. It certainly looks that way. It looks like the Badger's family home. There are eight boxes, but seven of them are empty. Which means that seven of the costumes are in use right now. But... Aren't these badgers the mascots of the police force? Well, I heard that the police had a hand in sponsoring this theme park. Probably because of the Gatewater Group. Probably because the Gatewater Group owns the police from all the cases they solved. They have all the power of the state, and they used it to make some theme park. It's not just any theme park. They have a handcuff-shaped, double-looping roller coaster. That's quite enough. I'm feeling woozy just from the thought of such a thing. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. <laughs> Gotta love that default image, he says. I mean, default uh, phrase. I got the, the keys. Keys, 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 keys. No way, no way. <laughs> so. And what have we here? Ah! Why do I feel a laser like stat aimed right at me? D did you want to take a look? It's a red dot. <laughs> well, don't mind if I do. Oh, I see. Yes, this is definitely a key. I'm sure it's a key to something. 
maybe the <coughs> door that we're locked? 10 out of 10 deduction. The something is what is relevant to my interest. Whoa. The key. Man, why did they have to put the windows so high up anyway? How is a thief supposed to make her daring escape? I suppose we could make our way out if we're able to climb on top of these lockers. <laughs> That's pretty clever. You'd make a good thief yet, Mr. Edgeworth. Please don't ever place my name and the word thief in the same sentence again. Misty. I wonder if I can jump and grab the top of the locker there. She has no hey. hops. Man. How are you going to be a great have... thief and have zero vertical? Man, you can't escape. <laughs> that's like, that's barely the height of a damn speed bump she was getting. Yeah. Now I know room. where to hide my valuables. Man, yeah, why'd they have to make such ginormous lockers anyway? Even if we wanted to use these lockers, we need some sort of foothold. You be the foothold. Just like do what Luffy did and have with like, this suit. Oh hell no! Logic time. <laughs> just do what Luffy did and just extend your penis so that way she fuck can, like, me. Not <laughs> so having logic over. All right, so look through the slot. Mm. Oh, I'm fucking. Look at the hatch. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> we... Good thing you have that up. There's a way out? I was gonna do this anyways, but it's like, damn it, I should do it the back. first time. I'm sorry, I've been shirking my duties. Hold on. Because we're waiting on you and your pizza. We're waiting on you and... I told you, if I had to leave, it was because I got shot. One leave. minute, let me, let me piss, let me piss, let me piss. Yeah, let him go pee. <laughs> <clears throat> is that what I think it is? It looks like the kidnappers had an escape tunnel prepared just in case. A secret tunnel, they call it? That's awesome! They're like a bunch of great thieves themselves. Whoa. No, they're not, because I highly doubt they made the tunnel themselves. The floor panel was removed and propped up against the beam in a very specific way. I think this building was originally built with an un basement or underground area. Torture room? Anyways... Now it's time. Alright, so, uh, is the key in the lockers? Yeah, I was gonna say, I like putting keys in lockers. You guys like putting keys in lockers? I mean, I want her to give it a try. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. We got plenty of health, we got plenty of health. Plenty of health. <laughs> that is your excuse every time. Make up a new one. I can't see it every time because it works every time. Of information. Yo, no cap, that was stupid as fuck. I don't know who thought of that. I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna be real. Here's what I think. The tiny key <laughs> open weapon. That's just a suggestion, dude. No, I'll we'll keep that bass in your voice. You got a lot of health on us. I'm not gonna lie. We do. We really do. Okay. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Come on, bro. You failing me here, dude. Like, oh my god. I like how you said I fuck with it and be like, you stupid, nigga. What's your idea? I don't have any. Duh. <laughs> That's crazy. Alright. Okay. So, like. What are we doing again? Oh my goodness. <laughs> we merging shits right now. We yeah, you're just gonna have to fold this one, guys. I'm gonna keep it real with you. you know, what, are you we what are we trying to figure out? Like, what's what's the what's our brain say? My brain either? isn't saying anything. Maybe if you guys looked at each of your logic pieces. You can hash something out. You know what I'm saying? When has that ever worked for us? Fine, since Blue is the Baby. expert. Look at Baby, costumes. Put, put the little brain cells together and. <laughs> It's not illegal yet. Okay, the beam I was tied to. Okay, uh, floor panel. How do we put those two out? together. Uh, 
We got plenty of health. I fuck with it. The hook on this beam. You know I already tried, and there's no way I can jump from this hook to the window. Come on. Even you have to admit when something's just not possible. Ha. Huh. I wasn't about to suggest that again. Rather, that it's here for a different purpose. Really? Like what? As you saw in the adjacent room, it's clearly for keeping up, keeping a floor panel propped up. Which means that there should be a panel in this room that we can open as well. Secret tunnel! Oh, I get it. We didn't notice his existence all this time because it was being hidden by this top. Alright then. Let's fold this thing up and see what's underneath. Now this is what I call treasure. she a treasure hunter? See, see how easy that was? Wow, it must be another entrance to the secret hidden basement. I totally smell treasure, and I hear... screaming? Hmm? The scent I wish to smell is the scent- is the smell of sweet fragrance from freedom. Then what are you waiting for? Hurry up and open it! Alright. Mm -hmm. This thing is locked down tight. Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! Logic time. Alright. Can we use the key now? Now we can use the key to open the lockers. Didn't we have a try key in the locker? I don't know, did we? Thought we did. I did not miss recording these. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I guess if we already tried that, we might as well try the key to the underground entrance. Well, let me read the underground entrance first. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh gosh. I believe you're up, Kay. Huh? Why me? Because we need to use the tiny key that you've been you've taken quite a liking to. Oh gotcha. Just leave it to me. I love the tense feeling of these moments when you're about to uncover something big. I believe the feeling of freedom would be much more satisfying right about now. Alright, I got the secret door open. And now... Uh, wait! She went straight ah! in and died. Are you alright, Kay? Fine. The ladder just slipped is all. Thank goodness she's alright. Um, I, I about had a coronary. There's a lot of really large machinery down here. What about an exit? Um, it's really dark and cramped down there, so I really doubt there's an exit. Ah, uh, I can't believe that it happened. You have only yourself to blame for leaping before you looked, you know. No way. I mean, like, how was I supposed to know the ladder is removed? Oh, the ladder in the lockers? Oh, the ladders can't be used to open the lockers. That's some bullshit. Anyway, hit connect. I love escape rooms. I figured out how we will escape this prison, Kay. <laughs> oh? So how are we going to bust out? It seems that your reckless actions were of use after all. Are you actually praising me? More of a thank you for giving me an idea regarding this ladder. The underground ladder? What about it? This ladder isn't just for those who wish to go down. Oh, I see. 
If we use this... Yes, I believe it's long enough to reach the top of those lockers. Well then, what are we waiting for? Alright! Now we can get out of here! Yes, we spent entirely too much time in here. Kidnappers who held me hostage in a mysterious Interpol agent. This case is only getting started, and I'll be the one to bring it to a resounding end. Are we in the couch? <clears throat> Are we in a wild, wild west? <sighs> Never mind. It looks so like it's kind of sexy. Hold up. It looks like it's stopped raining for now. Yeah, and thank goodness. You have no idea how hard it was raining earlier. I love Arizona. Mr. Edgeworth! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was swallowing cum. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you uh, managed to escape, sir. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was so stressed that I thought my heart was gonna bust. Detective Gumshoe, may I ask what in the world that is? Well, that's, um... <gasps> Count off, please. Go Hitler! Ten! I keep thinking he got his arm extender, but... It's just the thing behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I said that, by the way. Um, spot, I, I didn't say that for no reason. the important character challenge. Shifu! All 99 members are here and accounted for. Sir! Ah, oh, I see it. Cyberpunk edge runners? Tables. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck do you think you're doing counting my cubs off like that? Don't, oh. don't make me Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Who is this? Who is this? Oh, he's gay. Never mind. All right. Nick. Every person is a valuable who. <laughs> <laughs> Every person is a valuable human being. You get me? What's wrong with the Chinese cowboy, Doc? Like and everyone has a name that their parents gave to them. No one is a two or a three. Everyone, regardless of age or rank, is number one. Got it? I was ranked a four, so there's that. But... Shifu, Shifu. Master Shifu. You are Agent Lang, I take it. You infidel! How dare you address Shifu so rudely! Nick! Gerlangzi says. A cub who disrespects others soon falls the disciplinary bite of an elder. So don't you ever forget to show the proper respect towards another person. She not. Excuse me, bitch. This isn't much, but please, accept my card. Oh, thank you. Please accept mine in return. You all see that just now? That is the proper way for two people to show their respect. Keep that in mind and you'll get far in life. Got it? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah, that's right. Francisca did warn me. Something about an elite Interpol agent from the Republic of Zhang Fa. Apparently, this man has the highest successful arrest rate in the organization. Agent Lang. Is... What? Probably police in black neighborhoods. <laughs> yeah, man. Agent Lang, why exactly is an Interpol agent involved with this clearly domestic case? That's none of your business, Mr. Prosecutor. How is it not? I've heard a rumor or two about your ass. You solved a murder that occurred during the flight, uh, your flight home recently, right? Ha! But you sure took a while just to arrest one little flight attendant. How pathetic. How dare you say that about Mr. Edgeworth? Are you saying you could have solved it faster, pal? The comedic relief jumps to the aid of his master. How cliche. Look, what I'm getting at is that if I had been here, if I had been there, if I was involved, no one would have died. Personally. What? 
I would have solved the shit, and Agent Hicks would still be with us here today. It wouldn't Niggas. be a problem. How do you solve a case? Agent Lang knew yesterday's victim, Agent Agby Hicks. Hicks was like a brother to me, so now I'm about to take my revenge. Agent Hicks was investigating a smuggling ring with Francisca and a third person. This must be the man she was talking about. In that case, you should understand how I feel, as the kidnapped is someone I know. So I ask that you please allow me to participate in the investigation. No. This isn't your neatly trimmed courtroom Eden, you know, of Eden. <laughs> You're out in the wilderness now, Mr. Prosecutor, and way out of your league. <coughs> no hard feelings, but why don't you go on back to your courtroom now, little boy? You, you dare mock the court. I do, and I don't need the help of a filthy prosecutor. Sorry, but the truth doesn't need the likeness of you to distort it today. Use the adjective filthy to describe a prosecutor. Lots of niggas. And Lots why? <laughs> why do I feel so much intense loathing emanating from him? Did you see the niggas Phoenix puts up with? That's his hockey. Alright, men. Good job on the perimeter around get water on my land. Now, just find me the kidnapper and bring that punk to me. Dismissed! Sir! Now then, Mr. Prosecutor, you just sit tight there and don't cause any trouble, understand? Wait. Bye bye. Mr. Edward? It's been a while since I last met someone so disagreeable. Why of all places did he show up here, and completely out of the blue at that? I suppose I'll have to ask the detective Gu I was supposed to have to ask the Gumshoot to fill me in on that. I went straight to Great the job, detective. Lava. Sir! For losing sight of me and the kidnapper and allowing my investigation to be hijacked. Sir! I... Sir... I look forward to your next month's salary assessment. That's crazy. I thought you... Nigga... But the case didn't is even lost yet, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I'm gonna show you just how much of a man my dick gumshoe can be. Shall I prepare the 21-gun salute now or later? Bruh. Detective, are you sure it was the, the precinct you called for backup? Uh, of course, sir. I think I would know the number to my own precinct, like the back of my hand. Then why didn't the Interpol agent show up instead with an army of his own agents? That, uh, I have no idea. About five minutes late, uh, after I made the call, a wolfman showed up out of nowhere, sir. Bro, he wants to be Garo so bad. <laughs> Agent Lang definitely has an agenda, so the question is, what is he after? Uh, Mr. Edgeworth, I was wondering if I may ask about one thing, sir. Yes, what is it? Um, who is that... Uh, the girl over there? I'm Mr. Edgeworth's assistant, Kay Faraday. What? Funny, I don't recall making you my assistant. Uh, I'm Mr. Edgeworth's assistant. Me! It's been like that since, well, infinity. Sorry, but I just stole your supporting role. <laughs> How can you be replaced? You're <laughs> mid! <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth. Hey, and you're we've broke. Got a... Mr. Edgeworth. You got a thief on our hands, sir. She stole my role, sir. Oh, that's kind of a bar. Hold up. I'm taking her in, getting her convicted, and making sure she serves out her sins. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. Like musical chairs. You'd best stay on your feet. The dick eating competition is crazy. <laughs> no way. I won't. I won't lose the spotlight to you, little girl. Anyways, it's okay. I'm about to get EDP on her ass. Man. 
I can't calmly do any stealing with that detective around. I suppose it's not easy when there's this many members of law enforcement in the vicinity. It's alright. It's not like I'm in a hurry to steal just any old thing. Which is it? Do you plan to steal something or not? Quite the mystery, this one. Maybe I should talk with her a bit more. Keep your eye on her, you know. So, what are you going to do about your investigation into the kidnapping? Good question, since Agent Lang holds the authority to investigate this case now. This makes things a bit more complicated. Oh, come on! You can't let that stop you. I'll even lend you a hand. Well, let's go! But you're a self you're a self purported great thief, are you not? I don't believe I can let someone of an unlawful nature participate in an investigation. You don't like to listen, do you? I'm well, not just any ordinary great thief. I'm the Yatagarasu. And as I said earlier, the Yatagarasu is after one and only one thing. What is this one and only one thing you're after? The Yatagarasu is only interested in one thing. And that's the truth. I see. It was seven years ago. There was a vigilante who threw the business world into a panic. Labeled mysterious and phantom-like, the Yatagarasu appeared and vanished at will. Though we still don't know much about this thief's ultimate goal, we do not know the tar we do know the targets. The Yatagarasu liked to find and make public evidence of corrupt dealings of all sorts. Once a target was chosen, no dramatic calling card or announcement was sent forth. Instead, the chosen corporation was infiltrated without even the target noticing. Some days later, the evidence that was found was sent to the mass media, along with a card with the mark of the three-legged raven. Looking back, I suppose you would call... I, I, I suppose what you could call... You could call what the Yatagrasa was stealing was the truth. Could this child really be the successor to the original Yatagarasu? <laughs> but that can't be, can it? Looks can be deceiving. Yeah. Hey, Archie, I'm just kidding. God. Mr. Mono? Blue. Blucif. Lord Blucifer, it is your turn. We summon thee. I didn't know I was muted. Oh, Miles, my boy! I'm sorry to involve you in such an affair after you just returned. For you, Mr. Mono, I gladly offer my assistance. After all, I have you to thank for how well my th how well things turned out during my time abroad. If it wasn't for you, I might not have been introduced to the law office. I had the chance of to study the inner workings of another country's judicial system. No, no, no. Think nothing of it. The lobe's crazy. <laughs> As you know, Manfred and I go way back. I consider it more of a uh, disciple of his to be like one of my own blood. Yeah, he did. If you ever uh, want to go overseas again, you only need to ask. I can use my company's vast network to send you anywhere at any time. So who's the old man? He is the father of the currently kidnapped Lance Amano, Ernest Amano. Now then, have you found Lance yet, Miles? Please, I miss my poor boy dearly. I'm terribly sorry, but your son's whereabouts remain unknown, Mr. Amano. <laughs> oh, hold on there. Then what happened to all that money? I believe the one million has been stolen, and that the culprits are now on the run. What? Damn, they make up with the money and your Poor old man. Don't you have anything you could give to cheer him up, Mr. Edgeworth? Forgive me, Mr. Amano. Good, good. 
yeah. I was wondering if you could please tell me more details about the kidnapping one more time. Oh, it was yesterday. A uh, call came to my house. From the receiver came the sound of my son. Help me, daddy. I know this is tough, but please stay with me here, Mr. Amano. You don't understand. He hasn't called me daddy in ages. It was incredibly moving. I wish I had recorded him saying that. You definitely should have recorded that conversation. But not for the foolish sentimentalities of an old man. Refresh my memory. What kind of person is Lance again? I will tell you about Lance. Have you get him back? Surprisingly, a lot can be deduced from a person's relationships and behavior. Mm, very well then. Lance is my one and only son, and he just turned 21 this year. He is very much like me when I was his age. Kind and very attractive. I'm sure women simply can't keep their hands off him. This dude about to be ugly as hell. Is there anything else about him you notice of late? Now that you mention it, I haven't been able to get in contact with our butler, Oliver. Your butler? <laughs> yes, his name is Oliver Deacon. He's been with our family for years now. He gets along so well with Lance, so I thought maybe he would know where my son is. Mr. Mano, can you please tell me a little more about your butler, Mr. Deacon? As a butler, he is outstanding. He serves as Lance's personal private tutor. He took a brief leave recently, but even after it was over, I haven't been able to reach him. So you still haven't spoken with him since his leave. What about his family and friends? They said they haven't seen him. I tried everything I could think of, Miles. Do you think this could have something to do with Lance's kidnapping? Possible, but I can't say anything for sure quite yet. So even the person closest to the victim has gone missing. Oliver Deacon. Sounds like one name I had better keep in mind. Detective Gumshoe. Yes, sir. Let's begin our investigation. Even if that Interpol agent holds the authority to head this investigation, we can't allow ourselves to stand idly by twiddling our thumbs. I'm with you 100%, Mr. Edwards, sir. I, Dick Gumshoe, pledge to stick by your side through thick and thin. <laughs> Mr. Amano, it was my fault that the culprits escaped. Which is why, with your blessing, I vow to return Lance to you myself. Oh, I've never seen you so passionate before, Miles. Good luck to you, my boy. More. Well, alright. What are you waiting for? Let's go do some investigating. If you think I'm losing to you, pal, forget it! I'm really beefing with the jit. Huh, Edward's so, got his own jit now. That's funny. <laughs> so, what should we examine first? Hmm. Thanks to Agent Lang, we can't leave this area. But the culprits were here until only very recently. Which means we may be able to find some clues that will tell us how they escaped. Okay! Let's get looking. Okay! Hey, you there! Who, me? What are you doing goofing off in the blade, Lainey? I wasn't goofing off, I was about to help Mr. Edgeworth kick off his investigation. You imbecile! All precinct detectives are now under Agent Lang's direct command. Damn, he said, get the fuck out of here. No! <laughs> Skedaddle! I'm not working for Wolf Boy! <laughs> Mr. Hedgeworth, can't you do something? And it fired if you don't. Rip Bozo. I mean, I'm not exactly in a position to argue, seeing as how you are a member of the police. Good. Now let's go. Get his ass out of here. No! Damn, <laughs> Boy, have I got just a job for- oh fuck, oh, whatever. Oh, really about to make my ass, the they're taking my ass! Well, that was exciting. <laughs> <laughs>
Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Edgeworth. It's time for JIT Etiquette. <laughs> Featuring Catch. Phoenix Wright <laughs> and Apollo Justice. Okay. What? Can't you tell that I'm all ready to get down on some detective work? The hell no. What does she mean by that? You should go home. Your parents are too worried about you. Oh, come on. I finally get to be your assistant and you try to ditch me? I don't recall offering you the position. <laughs> Why do you have to be so difficult? Besides, it's already too late, you know. Like I said, I've already stolen the position of assistant a while back. <laughs> You're the only one asserting that. Well, by the time anyone notices, it's already gone. That's the Yatagarasu's way. You shouldn't speak so lightly of things you know nothing about. Fine. Whatever. You win. Go ahead and do your little investigation. But the talented assistant K is going to tag along no matter what you say. Can we arrest her for interference? Even if Bar. she turns out to be useless, she's not going to listen to me. I might as well surrender and let her come along for the ride. But just get yeah, your, handcu get get your handcuffs them. out. Tire to the damn post over there. That pole. Badger, have the blue badger watcher. <laughs> we win. We win. Break that water in the most spettest way possible and spill all over myself. I love you. <laughs> love me. Must be sweltering inside that suit. Hey, it's the blue badger. What do you do? Badger acquired. <laughs> yes, you're right, get bitches. I really don't understand why she's so excited over this badger hunt. Speaking I feel of like badger, got a pussy. Die. <laughs> you perv. <laughs> Speaking of badgers, there's a person inside of there. Mr. Badger, I wonder if you might share with me what you saw. Ratio. He's doing that contorted, wriggling dance again. She twerked on me. <gasps> it's this nigga! You've uncovered my undercover identity, sir! I will still remain under that head! Uh, sir? Aren't you Officer Meekins? Sir! Mike Meekins reporting for duty, sir! This man was a man. witness in one of the cases I headed two years ago. About the only thing I remember about his. Th th this. Fuck! The only. The only thing I remember about this officer <laughs> is that he often spoke and acted before he thought, which gave me a great deal of headaches. Get him out of here. Is he a friend of yours, Mr. Edgeworth? I've met him in the courtroom once before. Damn. Mm -hmm. Why was he so upset when we unmasked him? Does he have something to hide? I'm glad they keep bringing Brody back. Officer Meekins, why are you standing here wasting time? So because I'm not a police officer right now, sir. I'm the Blue Badger. And I'm creating memories and dreams for the kids. That's never a waste of time, sir. I have a dream to become as big as Detective Gumshoe, sir. L. I was patrolling the scorchingly boring beat until, I, until a little while ago. <sighs> when the dispatch radio on my shoulder crackled that the, kid that the kidnappers had escaped, sir. I thought maybe this was my shot at making detective. Sir, I rushed on over to join in, but when I got here, there was a sea of people already. I heard of them niggas, and I couldn't spread my trademark friendliness and joy onto anyone. It would seem that some people never change. So why exactly are you in that ridiculous outfit? That's because, sir. I'm here to keep the visitors in good spirits, sir. But it's also to hide the fact that I'm an officer on a trail of a kidnapper. You know what I mean? I see. Agent Lang is very wise to employ this sort of div divisionary tactics. To be handed the role of the Blue Badger out of all the different disguises, sir? It's... it's such an honor. Super dub. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been standing here, officer? 
sir, for about one little hour. Hmm, that's around the time I woke up from being knocked unconscious. And I've been here ever since, sir. If that's true, then it's possible Oz and Meekin saw the kidnappers escaping. B -b -b However, sir, I must tell you, I didn't see a thing, sir. I'm on my blind shit. I haven't asked you anything yet, officer. No, 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 but I know you will, sir. I know you. We've been, we, we like these. This, I'm crossing my fingers, by the way. We like these. <laughs> He's hiding something from me. Officer Meekins, I insist that you tell me more about your recent movements. Sir, I've been playing the Blue Badger this whole time, sir, and getting into it, too. I patrolled the park all while wearing this costume. In about one hour ago, I came over here, sir. It is hot as fuck. I haven't seen any suspicious looking people this whole time, sir. No one's sussy. No one's sussy at all. But I did see a badger, sir. A lone blue badger. <laughs> what you said just now is contradictory to the facts. Oh, God damn it. How so, Mr. Edgeworth? This is what Officer Macon's testimony contradicts. Ahem. <coughs> Hmm. Uh, are we able to uh, uh, press? No, we're presenting. What's on the uh, bottom? The bottom drawer? The Bible? Oh, God. Go to the left. What exactly are we trying to present? Uh, we're presenting Only this. one of each badger in the park. You're trying to get the whole badger family. Oh, yeah, you yeah, want yeah, to present right. the rally? <laughs> Yes, so we are running this. Sure. This is what we must present. Officer Meekins, let's back things up. I'd like you I'd like to ask you about your last statement. Sir, of course, sir, that's your wish, Mr. Prosecutor. This little patrol man will wait as long as I am commanded to wait. You said that you saw a blue badger, correct? And yet, if you take a look at this, what you saw was not supposed to happen. <laughs> Uh, what you talking about? This park is supposed to have only one of each badger in it at any given time. Which means that as long as you are the blue badger, Officer Meekins, you should not have seen another blue badger wandering the premises. Oh god! Then that would mean that there are two blue badgers walking around. But why? But why? That is what she sound like. Hey, there's a bunch of footprints in the mud over here. I remember hearing rainfall out here while I was being held in there. Yep. It was just passing rain. That's why the ground is already pretty much dried up. I should be thankful. It left us with some nice footprint samples. You know what? I bet if we followed them, we can find out where the kidnappers went. Plus, we'd be able to spot them with their muddy shoes. I don't think it'll be that easy. Why not? Look carefully. There are quite a few different sets here. And we don't know which ones belong to the kidnappers. Oh, that's true. We don't know what kind of shoes they were wearing. Oh, this sounds like a great job for, um, uh, them. A bloodhound? Oh, and, um, What's her name? The the scientist? Emma. Yes, Emma. We need her, our, her cum filling to, like, get the shoe design. We need her snackaroos. Anyways, it's logic time. Oh. Uh, Click on the second blue badger. And combine it with costumes. Costumes, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, shit, we're wrong. 
A second blue badger that shouldn't exist. Clearly, the true identity of the person underneath is... I know! It's one of the kidnappers, right? The person wore a costume to get away. Precisely. After all, the costumes that went missing from the storage area are... A blue badger, a proto-badger, and a bad badger. Yes, those three. So there are three phony badgers running around in the park somewhere, huh? Well, time to kill them. <laughs> you mean unmask them, Scooby-Doo? You first. Well, if you kill me, then how are we gonna finish the game? I'm sure that faded tables don't need you. Wow. Uh... <sighs> thought we couldn't do logic or just connect the animal. <coughs> Damn, bruh. Now that we know that the kidnappers are wearing blue badger costumes, those footprints from earlier take on a new and very significant meaning. Oh, you mean now we know which tracks belong to the kidnappers, right? So wait, why'd you push through that one? Huh? Wait, did you... I, I thought they were gonna get that one themselves, but... There, there was only two left, so... Oh, makes sense. Yes, more than shoe prints, but we need to follow the paw prints of badges. Okay, Mr. Edgeworth, it's time to use those footprints and go badger hunt. Hmm. So we're looking for footprints made by a costume. Hey, I think I found them. There are two sets here. They both do look like possible candidates. <laughs> this set is walking off to the west. Uh, and it just stops. I can't make heads or tails of where it's heading from here. I think we can assume it's headed towards the stadium. Hmm. I wonder where the other set leads. This one seems to be headed east. Huh? Quick, Mr. Edgeworth! I've got him! I've got one of the culprits! Hey, yo! No! I'm not a kidnapper, sir! Wouldn't put it Down above cave. you. Down, Kay. Clearly, those footprints belong to Officer Meekins. But our criminals were each wearing a costume. Aha! Uh -huh. Maybe they come. Maybe they came over to this garage for something. That's what I would suppose. Officer Meekins, would you could you step aside for a moment? We need to examine the garage. Yes, sir. Roger will go, sir. Oh God! Let's open the shutter and see what we find. Maybe we'll find the kidnappers hiding inside. Or treasure. Ah. Nice spring. I don't see anything. Oh. What in the? Dead as hell. We seem to have stumbled across a dead body. So let me guess, that's his son over there? So who's gonna hit report? She must be in severe shock to have been the first to find it. Now then, who was this man? Uh, uh, it's Oliver! Oh, not his son. Mr. Amano, are you saying that this man is... Yes. Oh, He's my butler. Rip Bozo. How could something like this have happened? Indeed. And why was Mr. Deacon here to begin with? I better investigate. Deacon, your ass. I'd better investigate this crime scene quickly before Agent Lang and his men return. Damn it, I want the voices guy. Anyways, the kidnapper's footprints lead right to this garage. <coughs> and right to a dead body. Is it possible one of the kidnappers is now a murder victim? From my cur from my cursory examination, I believe this man died of a fatal bullet wound.
You sure are calm for someone who just found a body. It's surprising you found it every day. You literally lost everyone close to just die constantly. It's surprising what one can be accustomed to in the span of two days. I won't rest until I've seen Spectre any suspicious looking looking cranny. How is he gonna say that? As long as Before that Interpol agent has the control of this case, I'm not going to be able to have a real autopsy done on the victim. I'm no doctor, but let's see what I can piece together myself. Hmm, there are two gunshot wounds, one in his abdomen and one on his shoulder. So that means he was shot twice? No, I don't think so. I think the abdominal one is an entry wound, and the one near his shoulder is the exit wound. Nice! I knew you could figure it out. It comes with experience, and I've seen my share of crime scenes. Speaking of experience, this crime scene is a bit too clean for a murder where the bullet went clean through. I should make a note of this oddity. This is an unusually shaped pendant. What is it? Is it something valuable? She seems to have regained some of her composure. It looks like a horse pendant. It's got an antique feel to it, and it's really pretty. Hold on. This is made out of platinum silver. Nice! It is worth something, after all. Oh, and look! There's something written on the back. She really about to loot dead bodies. Colin DeVoray. That's a name. Colin DeVoray. But this man's name is... Alright, what are we deducing? Uh, deduce that, uh, she's a thief because she understood how valuable that was. Deduce D's. D's what, sir? Nuts. Y'all are funny. Y'all are hilarious. Yeah, I agree, Blue. They're, they're funny, aren't they? I don't know, but uh, I, feel like, so... I feel like staring at the, you know, the bow right there. I just feel like staring at it. Yeah, man, so since I'm not needed, uh, you two got it. <laughs> no, oh, I mean, you were right. I was, I was agreeing. Wait, what'd you yeah, say, agreeing, Faith? Yeah. Oh, I said I just felt like staring at that pink bow. It's really amazing. Say what? Uh, that is not at all what Faith was saying. I... Whatever. Oh, I thought I thought that's what she I was couldn't. Saying. I I thought this. No. I thought she I, said I was, staring, I, was I was staring at the bow. On the pink badger. She's looking at the bow on the pink badger. Oh well, yeah. stop doing that bullshit. Ugh. What? I, I, it's just beautiful. <laughs> Let's go back to the penguin, please. Oh shit! I forgot she had the matter. Uh, let me look at the. Uh, hey, <laughs> the, the, the Bible again. Mm, should probably check it. Oh, we can do that. Oh yeah. A vile criminal with a gun. He's the bad badger. Oh my gosh, bro! The bad badger is up to no good again. Little Rambo. Uh, go to the right twice. Oh, shit. Back to the bike. One more time. Uh, again. The findings, preliminary findings. Let me see the deeds. Damn, he's 50. 
Loss of blood resulting right. from the Oh, you said what? Oh. Fuck. Oh, no, no, no. Right. He was yeah, 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 yeah. Despite the fact that they were playing with the body, there's very little blood. So. I... Go to the page again. One. <laughs> Wait, I think her name is Oliver? That's, that's insane, right? from, Wait, this is weird. So, they, he got shot at the lower right abdomen, and it exited his right sword, shoulder? Was someone shooting him from the floor? Holy smokes, what? Uh, I don't know if you need to know that, but I just felt like pointing that out. I don't remember this being a nigga's name. Oliver Deacon? The mm. butler's name? Yeah. If only we could get niggas. Go First, I, I know I'm not tripping. I don't remember. Wait, what did you say? Can we present this? You said his name isn't Oliver Deacon, so yeah, let's present. But they said something about Colin. That's what the horse pendant says. Oh. Yeah, we should do something about that. I say we present. Go ahead, I have no idea. What else can look at? <clears throat> Darian. Man, it's two to one. Nigga. <laughs> what, what, what do you think, nigga? That's okay. Darius just throwing a temper tantrum. Don't even mind him. There's something not right about the name on the pendant. The victim is the Amano family butler, and his name is Oliver Deacon. But the name of the pendant is Colin Devere. Who is Devere, actually? I wonder what's up with that. I don't know, but I think we've hit upon an important piece of information. Oh, finally we get that. Give me that. Sweetie? Who would that? Oh, yeah, Excuse me, but you are... Steven? Oh wait, but wait no. she didn't say anything. But, um, but, um. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Looking. Ah! Stop it, Lauren. You can't just let yourself fall for a playboy like him. You're in love with. Sounds like someone doesn't know the meaning of the phrase inner monologue, huh? Sorry to interrupt your conversation, but might you be a friend of Lance? Yes, I'm Lance's girlfriend. My name is Lauren Popes. His girlfriend. Fuck. He's got a ring pop. Oh, it's not like that. It, we're more like friends, and, um, we're not lovers or anything. Whoa. We, we, we haven't gone that far yet. But I guess that's how people are going to see it. So I, I should just accept it. I even got this ring as a present from Lance. Oh, no. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? A cartoon character. Amy uh, Rose? May I inquire as to why you are here? I haven't been able to get in contact with Lance lately. And I began to get really worried. Aww. I looked everywhere for him and then I heard about the kidnappings, so I came here. Wow. You're... You're really strong for having made through that all by yourself. Shit, she's like the She-Hulk. <laughs> um, is it true? Has Lance really been kidnapped? No one is supposed to know, but yes, it's true. Oh, Lance. I can't believe you've been spirited away. I wonder how you're doing right now. I'm spirited away. <laughs> Looks like she's gone back to the fair maiden in love team. 
So, Mr. Edgeworth, where do we go from here? Well, we found a body, so we should look into the mud. It is I, nigga. My, my men brought me up to speed over the radio. And I have to say, you really should have called. I heard you found some very intriguing. I have nothing to hide, Agent Lang. Is exactly what you see before you. Type shit. I killed this man. <laughs> I'll take it from here. Yeah, that guy's really dead. Whoa. Hey, you waiting for an invitation? Hurry up and detain the suspect now. Suspect? Who? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Officer Meekins, is it? You're coming with us. Bruh. Um, sir, I had nothing to do with this, sir. Agent Lang, don't you think you're being a bit rash? Do you even have a good reason to suspect Officer Meekins? Ha! I leave that kind of stuff to you prosecutors. It's your job, after all. He said you figure it out. Like I said, the crime scene isn't as forgiven as your precious courtroom. That's your answer? <laughs> Not gonna lie, that is insane. I know you like your logic and reasoning. But he fucking sucks as a rapper. And that sort of practical fluff is not in me is not needed out here in the field. Red pill All you have to do is arrest suspicious person after suspicious person. Yes, yes, that makes sense. That's how you eliminate crime from the streets. But that's I also precisely how you unnecessarily arrest innocent people by mistake. Like I said, he definitely goes to black neighborhoods in his free free time. Innocent yeah, people. The Bullshit. <laughs> There's no such thing as an innocent person. We all got a blemish or two in our hearts. That's tyranny. I won't allow such a thing to go on, but unchecked before my eyes. That's a wild statement. What you got going on there, Lang? <laughs> too bad you don't call the shots around here, pussy. As I have sworn to uphold the laws of this land, I cannot allow you to take this man in. That you would arrest a man on false charges without even conducting an investigation. You have no honor as a member of law enforcement. How dare you speak disrespectfully to Shifu? Hold it! Bitch! Uh, 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 uh. You amuse me, Mr. Prosecutor. Lang Z says, every pack has its own rules. If you can play by their rules and come out on top, it's a true dub, a victory royale, if you will. Right, you know what? I'll give you beloved laws a fair shake. <laughs> I'll show you just how much investigating I've done. Just because I love Fortnite that goddamn much. Through my line of logic! You have no logic. You literally don't even use logic. That's the issue. <sighs> it's up for this nigga. I've seen a lot of bodies like the one being carted off in my time. I could say he was. <laughs> this sprite is amazing. Suffering from success. I could say he was <laughs> shot in a single glance, but even you figure that much out, right? With your current gun laws, it's not exactly easy to get your hands on a gun. <sighs> I just thought of a thumbnail idea. Not unless you're a member of law enforcement like Officer Meekins, isn't that right? That's your reasoning. Solid as a. It's based on the philosophy of detainment. Punk. Uh, what's this philosophy of detainment? Huh? You don't know? In that case, pay attention, girly. In my country, the criminals have a saying, beware of the wolf. Why the wolf? We're furries. But in my language, Lang means wolf, and you don't mess with me or my pack. We're furries. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. And all that shit. Anyway, um, as far as the detainment philosophy, uh, for the detainment philosophy BS, its father is my honorable ancestor, Lang Z. Hmm. You'd think I'd have heard of him and his teachings if he's that famous. That pissed me off. Here's a bomb. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Lang Z <laughs> developed it as he, as he worked <laughs> to lock criminals away thousands of years ago. To this day, the Zhang Fa police still trains its recruits using its philosophies. Oh, fuck these smart, bro. But thousands of years ago? 
That makes your story about as believable as a fairy tale. Damn, so just because stuff happened thousands of years ago, it's a fairy tale? I mean, look at the great Asian. Look at the great Asian. I can't wait for slavery to move on. I'm going to keep my eye on her. Man, I love how Darian just speaks Twitter language. Anything wears down and breaks over time. Do you really believe something as ancient as that can be applied to today's world? Let's go, Edgeworth. You're gonna put it to a test? Imagine relying on things from thousands of years ago to rule our nation today. First. Unless you're a member of the law enforcement like Officer Meekins, isn't that right? Uh, I'll press it. Hold it! If that's the case, there are plenty of other officers who might be a potential suspect. You're not seriously going to arrest each and every one of them, are you? As if I would need to, I've already looked at everyone else here. Oh. No gay shit. Even Gumshoe? Other than Officer Meekins, I don't know what else's weapon has been fired. How did you check every single person's <sighs> weapon in such a short span of time? That's because each and every one of my subordinates is extremely capable. It didn't take more than a few minutes to conduct the entire investigation. The power of sheer numbers. But you have yet to check off some Meekin's weapon, correct? Thanks for reminding me. Hey you! Show me your gun! Oh! What's wrong? Why does he look so sickly? Pale all of a sudden. Gun! Or what? I can't hear you. Stop mumbling. Spit it on already. I lost my gun, sir. How could you be so irresponsible? In the end, it looks like you're still the only suspect we've got. God bless it, Meekins. <laughs> Man, if only you had the gun, then you could shoot yourself and remove your. <laughs> How many times have you pulled her ass out of the fire? You're the one Mini. who waited here outside the garage to ambush and kill the victim. So you think that Officer Meekins waited really here to kill the victim, do you, Lang? I think this little accusation deserves a lot more scrutiny. News statement. Officer Meekins ambushed the victim in his garage and killed him here with his gun. Uh, go to the last bitch. statement. Look at our evidence. Um, Whatever the statement uh, where the. Oh, uh, I guess. How long has that body been there? I'll check it again. I remember Meekin said he's only been here for an hour, but I don't know if this testimony is. To the next page. Yet. But there's very little blood at the site where the body was found. Mm. That's right. Oh. Well, I got nothing. I'm out. No, that's, that might be it. Why not? I'm so because, used to um, having like portraits to like present what people said, but I guess we uh... let's present that bitch. Sure. Yeah. Man. The fuck. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Never. Mind. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, Agent Lang, that is simply not possible. Agent Zero, what do you mean? You've seen the crime. <laughs> You've seen the crime scene you for yourself. And while you were looking, did you not to think to yourself that it was a little too clean? <laughs> so you did notice that there was too little blood. <coughs> do you still wish to claim that Officer Meekins committed the murder here? Because this isn't the crime scene. And if it was your man who led you, and if it was your man who led you to think it was, then I suggest you leave this case to the local police to set the record straight. You you not bad. I see your logic can be just as sound as mine. In that case, let me ask you these. Don't you think it's? A little strange that officer was hanging out around here in the first place. Weird, how so? Hey, you, your squad's not even supposed to be in this area, right? What were you doing here, neglecting your duties and loafing around here? 
Ay, ah, ay. Don't you dare give me some lame ass excuse like I know myself taking a walk. <laughs> what but sir, I, I really did take a walk, sir. Nations. Nigga, you are a disgrace. How, how dare you take your pack obligation so slightly? Meekins is the Yamcha of Ace Attorney. <laughs> All of a sudden, Meekins is looking extra meek. Is he hiding something? Ha! He's always hiding. Mr. Richworth, please, sir! Save me the way you did earlier, please, sir! All of a sudden, Meekins, please give us a detailed account of what happened. Bet! Not you too! I mean, no! Not you too, no. Alright. So it's facts. I killed him. Oh, oh, never mind. I wasn't assigned to this area, sir. <laughs> That's the only statement. <laughs> <laughs> I was told to check every square inch of the main gate area, sir. I also went looking for the kidnappers while selling dreams in a blue badger mobile, sir. But I completely forgot up in my role selling dreams to the children, sir. Bro. Before I knew it, I found myself here in this area, sir. What is this blue badger mobile? It's a moving store on wheels that sells sweet dreams and merchandise, sir. So, the blue badger mobile is just a roaming souvenir shop? Oh, God. That's funny. So, I swear I was chasing the kidnappers down while I was do, do, being a good dream merchant. He seems rather washed up, even more than his usual hyperactive self. He sure seems sure of what he's saying. Can you try to calm down and lower your voice to a more reasonable level, officer? Sir, Roger! Sir! Need to find the mute button for him. What does um what does that shit say? The the thing we got the the car. The bladder, the bladder. The cool mobile. Mobile shop on three wheels was parked inside the wild wild rest area garage. But we're even driving the you little pussy ass yeah. bitch. Had to have seen the Man, body go the back. Of that shit. Go back. Or I guess go the to the left. The there we go. Uh, go to the left again. Go to the left again. Go, Go to the right. right. All right. That one. Do y'all agree? We got Honestly, he forgot to report the body, bro. He must have missed that shit. Go ahead. Officer Meekins, I would appreciate it if you didn't tell such transparent lies. <laughs> Sir, bruh. I'm not lying, bruh. Yes, you are. If you're Are you really these titties? Sorry, 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 Just sorry, 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 If you really were out there selling dreams with the blue badger mobile until recently, then what is it doing here inside the garage? Fuck. Uh, actually, I, I I just lost track, sir. Lost track of what? These nuts. Uh, by the time I realized that the Wu Badge Mobile was nowhere to be found, sir. Which would mean it was perhaps stolen. And that's when I came back to the area, thinking maybe it was in the garage, sir. But that's when you found me. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, oh, man. <coughs> likely st uh, the like <coughs> that actually wow I don't even know what I choked on a likely story who do you think is gonna buy such a convenient tale as that and what exactly is so convenient about this story who the car getting stolen it's completely unbelievable even for a cover story but I think we can assume the car was using was used all right to move the dead body um my nigga! You killed the victim at some distant location, Officer Mikins. Then you used the Blue Badger Mobile to transport it all the way here. Now then, you're coming with me! You look so goofy in that spray. 
You know, I just noticed that his hair looks like little wolf ears. Yeah. Bro, he's literally just Garo from One Punch Man. But it wasn't me. <laughs> I just sound like I'm Buster Khan. Agent Lang, wait. Not Edgeworth doing a Nazi salute. Okay, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, leave. We don't know what now. Bless you. Thank you. We still don't know where the real scene of the crime is. You can't say we know all the facts in this case, let alone the truth. I told you, truth, smooth. I could care less. Our job is to catch the clerk. You'll find out your precious truth after we arrest this guy and take him in. That's the job of you prosecutors at your fancy course with their logic. Dumbass fuckers. You dumb fuckers. As for us, we don't have that kind of time to waste. You boss buffoon. Oh. I think you need to leave. No, you I need to leave. <laughs> you need to pee. We need to get the body to the autopsy, and you guys are getting in the way. You. You would interfere with another one of my investigations. Hey now, let's not forget who holds the actual authority to conduct the investigations here, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I did pussy in there a little bit. Yeah, I'm afraid the one doing the interrupting is yo ass, hey, ignorant little pretty shit. boy. Keep, keep, keep the fucking shit up with your breath, boy. I beat your ass right here in front of all your fucking subordinates, nigga. You ain't you fucking know. a thing. You ain't from old. <laughs> I, I grew up in Japan, California, nigga. <laughs> N-word. Well, I, I grew up on the streets. I fuck camels in they butts. Tell me fucking camels in they butts. I look at you looking this puffy ass suit just telling y'all. I'll be plucking my grandma booty hairs. <laughs> oh, shit. Now be a good fancy boy and get out of my <laughs> sight if you don't. <laughs> I'll arrest you for obstruction of justice. <laughs> Bro, that's not fair. But, like, why? Why do you do that? Table, shut the fuck up.